Gross. Hello. Hi. Hey. Got it. You know, I miss making videos. Now I'm working on raising kids, developing a game, designing a game, working on a completely other game, and then also Animal Crossing. Why not juggle more? This is all of my videos in a really, really short, condensed space. Deciding what was good and what was bad. The 16 to 20 videos that I've done thus far, I have put out into the world and then never looked at again. The point of this is for me. This is a, totally an act of ego, uh, trying to figure out what the hell I should do and if I still like doing this. Does that help? A potato one. So I spent some time learning how to play Dwarf Fortress. I started by creating a world and waiting. <laughs> what is any of this? Try the help menu now. What is any of this? Use the starter pack. I created a list of total population to around 11 or more bedrooms. Didn't know I needed a metal smith. Had no idea what I was doing. The fantasy world simulator had to be incredibly complex. When you play Dwarf Fortress, you're contributing to lore. Advice? Use Dwarf Therapist. Use a tutorial. Don't get discouraged. Try until it clicks. Dwarf Fortress gets so fun. Oh, got my Dwarf Fortress video. My most popular video. Watching it back was hard but surprisingly good audio quality considering i didn't know what the hell i was doing i tried to make it sound candid but it did it didn't come off that way at all one thing that i did enjoy was the the little cutaways but you know like i'm looking at stuff on youtube i still dig that the delivery was really stiff my kid is in the background <laughs> making noises i think that's funny and it's cute the format was actually really cool it's a story about my time playing the game and then analyze it, critique it, whatever you want to call that. And then at the end, I give suggestions and advice on how you can get into it too. And something I want to play with in future videos. I gotta fix this G light. Potato 2. What was Potato 2? Marcy Long is hated. I don't get it. When you first have the chance to speak with her. Somebody do something! When you engage. Gave you the idea we're friends. She watched her son die. It seems reasonable that she'd be a little upset. Is direct. Stop complaining when there's nothing left to complain about. It's appreciative. This place isn't awful. She has been the first one up and the last one to bed. Protecting her loved ones. What are we going to do without the sight? What are we even doing here? Marcy is rude, brash, abrasive. She's also caring, loving, and helpful. Why hate her? There are plenty of other characters worthy of such a negative response. Honest Dan, Honest Dan, Honest Dan. Oh, this was the Marcy Long video. Cadence is way better. This approach is also interesting in picking it apart by playing it, not by researching it. You know, I have this affinity in my writing to use big words and that makes the videos less accessible and that's not cool. The cuts are a little weird. Some of the wording is repetitive. I like my bit where I'm scolding people who say she's not allowed to be in pain. You call gamers on their shit here. Kudos. I'ma keep doing that. Potato 3. Be getting back to basics. What the heck are tiles? Just a bit of space. Also contains data of how it looks, how it behaves, and which animal genanimate gents Stardew Valley. Tiles on your farm, five states. Occupied, cleared, tilled, seed, mature plant. Rock, clear it, till it, plant a seed, water it. You can harvest it. Good design, color, value, shape, direction. You may or may not be in love. However, it's pretty attractive. I don't think this is for beginners, even though that was the target audience. The animated explanation was fine. I don't think I'll do a video like this again, because I don't think that I have the mindset to do teaching videos. It's just not me. Uh, too many big words. It's more clever than helpful. SV explainer. I don't know what the f*** that means. Pointing out that I stumbled over words and also playing into what my kid was saying at the time. The pauses are too long sometimes. Yeah, the ending was weird. Potato 4! My name is Jake. Character creation systems. WWE games are tons of settings. System still feels a little... raw. The facial morph system is cool. Categories are a little confusing. Malshep or Femshep. A reasonable amount of diversity. Gendered assumptions. Can't have an old avatar. The first sim is random. Large number of presets. Lotus sliders. A slider for breast size. Women can't have facial hair. Old sims can't have muscle mass. Men can't wear tall socks. Using a slider needs to be predictable. Too many sliders overwhelm. Oh. Remain critical. Keep making it better. This is a QA video. If I do videos like this in the future, either Take a huge swath of examples, 16 or bigger, do like a, a quicker explanation summary of each one, or take one game and pick 
some portion of it apart until it can't be picked apart anymore. Sometimes I speak as a designer, sometimes as a developer, sometimes as a player. Who are the videos for? Designers. Field notes, one. Level design. Workshop mode, it's gross. Macro versus micro. Technique. Lens in, wandering around with a fence post. Picked up this generator. Let me do what I want. Quote unquote, realistic. Believability. And then sleep for 12 hours. Just punched my microphone. Why don't I just say ah. it? I don't care. Micro versus macro. And I level up a lot. I'm putting uh, some patio furniture up here. You just have to think like a person. Why? There was no reason for me to move that. The first video sucked. It was long and rambly, and it didn't really have any purpose. Me making a shed while I was playing Fallout 4. Verbal vomit is what it was. The voice sucks. The apology does not make up for that. A video somehow for Fallout players and for level designers, but not in a good way. I needed to pick a lane and I didn't. The Ultimate Warrior, he used to make these wild rambly videos. This is what that reminds me of. Field Notes 2. Verticality in video games. Introduce more mechanics. Scaling buildings. The bat. Shit, what's it called? Bat. Grappling hook is the glide. He jumps pretty far on the rooftops. It's very freeing. The interiors feel even more claustrophobic, going back and forth between interior and out interior. A certain Batman feel. Rocksteady wants you to stay off the ground as much as humanly possible. Mechanics mimic how Batman functions. Uh, detective mode, maybe not so much. I like the irreverent intros. Hi, this is Jake. I only have four toes on one foot and six on the other. I like the text monster that pops up. Oh, that's like scolding me for being dumb. I like the looser comedic delivery, probably the best of the series at this point. It's also too loud, I guess. I don't remember why I thought that. Field Notes 3. Darkness is terrifying. What is Teleglitch? Top-down roguelike shooter. Elements of horror. Play with darkness. The low light areas are very ominous. Black areas are literal blind spots. There's also the blackness will explode your brain. Logs left on computers are disturbing. A cat spider? You don't know what's coming next. The minimap. The only place that's lit up is the area that you're physically in. This is a spoopy game after all. Claustrophobic. It can kill you. Teleglitch. Actively take information away from you. State of anxiety. Text monster. Put put the title up here somewhere. All I can come up with is Giga Earth. It's definitely not that. Teleglitch. 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 It sounds rehearsed and a bit tense, but it kind of works for this context. That wasn't my intention. Cadence is weird. <laughs> because I do weird cadences. My definition of the word mechanic gets really loose in this video. I'm overusing the word darkness. And the guy in the end screen looks like he's about to murder you. Yeah, I, but I kind of have that face sometimes. Field notes for... Hey, Jake VA 11 Hall A. Playing as Jill. Paycheck to paycheck. Interact drinks. Interact or drinks. They're gone. Using your phone, you can read... You go to work. Coworker Gil, your boss Dana, and the clientele. I think you have two real possibilities for choice. How much media to consume and what music gets played through the night. Everyone answers to someone. But living here in the world of Valhalla is not good or bad. It just is. Also, the corgis with the tuxedos. The corgis with the tuxedos. The corgis with the tuxedos. Yeah, this was way too glowy. I think the problem was that I had never really played through a visual novel. The mechanics, like the discussion of the mechanics was fine, but I didn't play it all the way through, which meant that I, I missed a lot. And I think I was glowing about the idea of a visual novel and not necessarily about, a, about Valhalla in particular. At the beginning, I even said, oh, the, you know, I like this story. I should do a video about the story, and then I, I talked about the mechanics, which there's like four mechanics. Field Notes 5. Miney Crafty. I gotta do this, right? I didn't earn these wings. I cheated. And to test out these wings, I left. And I failed again. Kind of worked. And then the next time, it didn't. An even bigger cliff. I still died in... Tall tree on the side of a cliff, set up a plank, fully expecting to die. But I flew, flail. Then I used those damn fireworks, plundered flew into one of their buildings. A bunch of alpacas, the horse's giant mountain. Zombified village, a zombie monk. It's a nice story, but the, the video is too YouTube-y. Like I'm trying to catch an audience that would be interested in this sort of thing. It's not critical or educational at all. I'm like an old dude experiencing games for the first time. This episode said nothing. 
Field Note 6. Contentious state of mods. Bethesda has stated officially that they will fully support PC mods. The modding community is generous and passionate. The first and biggest oversight is lack of financial compensation. Bethesda claims to support mods, but of course they actually just mean they provide the framework. None of this is to say that modding is dying. Bethesda tried to help modders get some cabbage, but they failed, and they haven't tried again since. Even going so far as to state, we believe mod developers are just that, developers. This one was pretty well researched. Great job on my part. Also quite critical. Great job on my part. I make some statements without actually providing my own opinions. I don't know how I feel about that. Field note seven. Howdy ho, good neighbors. <laughs> oh, that's so stupid. That's vault tech assisted targeting system. Should aid lower level players, but it doesn't really. You need to back out of each one individually. There's also the death blow camera. Those are valuable seconds wasted. Sometimes the navigation keys don't function as you'd expect and you lose time correcting. The issues I've described are probably not new. I have two suggestions. The first is a complete redesign. Second solution, just get rid of it. Vats made me watch a robot explode while a different robot was sawing my head off. This is another QA episode for sure. This is the point in which I realized that I don't need to do that bit at the end. Don't chill at the end for comments or likes or whatever. Let it be done. Field notes eight. I've been playing Gary's mod 12 and a half years after after its release, a physics toy box full of Valve brand toys. The physics gun is best used for moving. Gravity gun is for destroying. There's a third tool. It's the tool gun. Access ball socket, elastic hydraulic motor, muscle pulley, rope slider, valve pulley, and winch balloon. Button duplicator, dynamic manner, ball lamps, light, no collide, physical properties, remover, pin thruster, and wheel. Icons are face, poser, finger poser, and flare, camera, color, material, paints, and trails. Games are broken. All of them. Do you think EA would release a game where you could take all of their game characters and pose them in a big orgy? Not, no, no. Not so much. I do a slower delivery here, and I think that's better? Too many caveats. Just talk about the damn game. Too much about how to play, not enough about why or if it's any good. I wish I could remember what this was about. Field Notes 9. Planet Coaster, you play the part of omniscient creator. Through three general parts. Park management, park construction, and riding the rides like a big kid does. Heat maps, graphs, most profitable, heaviest workloads. This is actionable data. You get a notification. Your patrons relieving themselves in some inappropriate area. You get a notification. You have high rate of crime. You were notified because your patrons complained and you can use their comments however you'd like. This system makes a realistic game. You can see your patrons' faces. Frontier has not taken a hand in deciding whether your park is good or not. Good script, uninteresting premise. Made it a little more interesting over time, like towards the end of the video, but overall, I, I just, it was kind of mad, and I spent too much time explaining. Words, again, little too complex, and also repetitive. Field Notes 10, was this the breaking one? Jurassic World is a silly movie. Expand, expand. Simon Mizrani does not care about profit. The Mizrani Corporation does. Cut corners. They're still building the enclosure. Jurassic World should have a quicker evacuation plan. Have you seen the park? It is very nice. They just have a guy standing at the door. Security risk. Well, on a, on a, on a, you know, one of these things. Asset containment can use live ammunition. And they have to make it in the moment when they're there, <coughs> standing in front of a giant dinosaur who suddenly has camouflage company doesn't know their shit. Oh, this was the dinosaur video. By the way it's shot and the way that I deliver it, it feels like a wrestling promo. Uh, this is presented as a critique initially, but it's not. Wish I would have made that clearer at the beginning. I thoroughly enjoy the experimentation to look at TV shows, to look at board games, to look at movies and farm those things for ideas. Those ideas can be used for game design. Well, how did you get two different kinds of dinosaurs to, you know, you know, you know, when he, you know. <laughs> Field Notes 11. The Flame and the Flood is a survival rafting game. The game is charming as f The art direction is awesome. Demented version of Huck Finn, Louisiana style blues. We don't want to see the Doom guy breathing, breathing? We want to see that son of a Take his death in stride. Scout is an alternative. They limp. They has to lay down. Dogs are hella charming. The flame and the flood provides a passive story that helps engage you. <laughs> if you're just looking for another game to beat, who the hell can beat roguelikes anyway? Look at feral children. Flame and the flood. How could I forget this? I do like this writing. It's the best so far. It's definitely an analysis, not a critique. It was more interesting for me to analyze it. The cadence and delivery is a little sticky. I liked the improv, and I think it's the best up to this point. Field Notes 12. Iconoclasts. The game reminds me a lot of Super Metroid. Could I break the game? 
what is this? A thought exercise wherein I consider how I might make the game worse. EA does this sort of thing all the time. Got some ground rules. Always believe in yourself. You would destroy the narrative. Stun gun, just shooting a laser bullet. The wrench, we could you'd break that. Elro and or Amina, there's crafting tweaks. Broken. I request at least 20% royalty. Royal, 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 royal. That's a stupid joke. The concept was a bit esoteric. I buried the lead, which I regret doing. I don't explain why I'm actually doing it until the end of the video. I think the delivery was smooth. It was nice. This is a stupid thing to like about this video, but I think this was the point in which I started flipping off the camera. It makes me feel edgy. I can't flip people off anymore because I have kids and they might see me do it and then they're gonna do it. Field Notes 13, Great British Bake Off is a show. It's compassionate. On your mark. On your mark. On your mark. Get set. Get set. Bake. 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 When a baker is getting nervous or overwhelmed, hosts will come and support them, willing to relax the rules because having fun is more important than stickling. The judges, they judge, sure, but they also teach. GBBO is edited such that we see all of their joy, their sadness. We can empathize. Gabibo or Great British Bake Off. I like the idea of farming for ideas and concepts outside of video game world. I like applying that knowledge to other places. The color correction is shit. The delivery is nice. The format explained should be shorter. The thing perhaps that I like the most about this one is the ending. It says something specific and definitive. I want to know about the person I'm watching do the thing, whatever that thing is. In one of the final episodes of Parts Unknown, Anthony Bourdain tools around Hong Kong with the cinematographer of his favorite films, Chris Doyle. When asked about what he looks at when filming, Doyle explains he looks at the people. We're doing something which all of those energies focus in a way that somehow connects with other people. Hello, what do you want in life? Field Notes 14. Oh, Jake. You would be remiss to think that everything isn't worth your time. There's insight and serenity to be had, if you're into that sort of thing. Spore believed in intelligent design. Spore also believed in manifest destiny. Everything, on the other hand, is indifferent. You borrow the physical manifestation of a piece of pizza. Alan Watts. David O'Reilly has gathered various recordings, piled them into something resembling a belief in connectivity. Hey, maybe they have a point. But everything is the same game all the way up and all the way down. Everything is about everything because it's about helping you realize you are a part of everything. Maybe it's the worst. It's horribly shot. The framing, the color correction, brown shirt, yellow light, brown, everything else looks awful. And like I look tired and I got scruffy beard. My hair is down and it's as a video video. It's horrible. I did not have to compare it to Spore. I think I was trying to be clever when I really didn't need to. And I could have said more with the amount of time that I had. I had tilted to the side for most of it. Like my neck was broken. Maybe I should just do this from now on. Does it make me look cooler? The wider frame. When I'm way back, it's like you are in a class. Like it just feels like a lecture. I think I said everything I need to say. Life straw. So I'm all set in if I ever get dropped in the woods. So this is part one. I have another set of videos after this thing. Bubblegum laser, I might cannibalize the title for something completely different. How to be a transient in a geometric cosmos. My favorite GD title, if I remember correctly. Not my favorite videos. Look forward to series compendium two. It's coming at some point. Okay, mm, um, yeah, the, sure. Bye. All right.